welcome back everybody this is grace or Gibby, whatever you prefer and today we're going up against caro the chrono broker but we're bringing back a very special friend of the channel the daimyo rider baby so some of you guys might not know but i really like this armor i think it's fun i think it's silly um i think it's hilarious i think it's iconic i think it's the greatest thing to ever grace the game um jokes aside though I did want to, I'd like to beat a bunch of bosses and content in the Daimyo Rider armor. I think it's funny. I think it's silly. Um, and so we're going to be taking on Carrie the Chrono Coper. Now we found him in Nautica because in the painting he's half as strong at the moment. Um, so it should be a more serious challenge. And as well, uh, we're just going to stay in the armor the whole, the whole time. So first things first, I'm going to need some sustain. Now, I'm thinking we're going to start with the Valentis Guest. Now, the mechanics of the Damio Armor, if you don't actually know. Alright, there we go. Valentis is activated. But what Damio Rider does is against undead monsters, um, it makes your pets and guests deal at least seek. Um, excuse me. Damio Rider does. Now I'm all set up with my Valentis pet and guest and my Nerf Kitten pet. And my energy defensive misc and my energy defensive shield. What Daimyo Rider does is against undead monsters, it makes your pets um, Ellie Seek, which is awesome and fun. It is an FO armor, not the best synergy, but we'll make it work. And so, of course, uh, Kara the Chrono Coker doesn't look undead, so we're going to be using Zorback to manage that. Now, he's going to be attacking with his energy SP attack. I really have no clue how much damage it's going to do. Um, but he should set a time, like, reset, so we should go back to full health the turn after. We did hit him seven times, so we interrupted his, um, his ability. Let's see, two from the Valentis, three from Zorbeck, three from Nerf Kitten. Oh, no, that's eight. I can't count. Um, so I wasn't planning to interrupt his special, but we did, no big deal. Uh, so we'll go back to our water defensive setup, which is going to be Fruitcake Brick, the uh, and the Crystal Shield, Crystal Ward if we need it, which I'm not sure we will, or the Fruitcake Wraith if we don't, which gives us a little bit of SP. Now, with that being said, the first thing I'm going to do is inflict a passive burn on this guy. If I can hit him, goddamn. So you see uh, Nerf Kitten is hitting with energy, that's not so normal. There we go. That's automatically burned him, and he's burning with dark damage. So the reason I'm using this uh, permanent dark burn, it's not to kill him very fast. It'll do very little damage per turn. But what it will do is trigger my Thunderlord's Crest Shield when I need to equip it. Um, it'll give me more SP regen. So I'm going for an SP regen setup. Um, and to that end, I have Nickel Clad Stormblade, um, which is an SP regen weapon. But I actually just want to use Zervana's Pity because I've never used this weapon before and I want to see how it looks in battle. So with that being said, we're going to be doing some clicking attack here. Oh, I think the armor is also one hit. Forgot to mention that. Okay, so here's a trick. Um, he is going to be using his SP bar to charge up next turn. So I can equip any shield I want. Fruitcake Wraith gives me SP and it gives me more if he doesn't attack this turn. And Thunderlord's Crest gives me SP if the foe is burning. Oh, it is a two-hit armor. Okay. Um, but I don't remember which gives more SP. The no attack trigger or the um, the burn trigger. But I forgot to equip both. But anyways, no big deal. We'll find that out next. So let's take a look and see. Was that water he said he was going to attack with? A massive, watery, unerring attack. Stun him or barrage him with many attacks. So I don't want to just stun him or barrage him because that would be so, so easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the incoming water damage and I'm just going to attack again. I'm not too concerned. We could use something like Baby Egg or Chiara Symbiote. I don't really think we need it. Um, but yeah, we should be good here. So let's see how much damage this does. I've got extra 50% reduction from the Benthic Ward. I'm already at 34 water res. I'm sensing at like 10% water res here.
Did y'all see that? Dealt zero water damage. I don't have any damage reduction. I don't have any barrier. Flat damage reduction. You know what? I think I might know what's happening. But we're not going to worry about that for now. What we are going to worry about is equipping the right shield, which is a water shield, of course. And we're going to keep our water misc out to help restore the SP. You can see, even with that um, fruit cake brick, I'm losing a bit of SP per turn. I actually don't quite know how I'm losing this much SP. <clears throat> I think, actually, I'm not losing SP per turn. I'm upkeeping my SP just fine. But what happened is, because I used the shields twice, Why am I taking zero damage? Let's take off Fruitcake Brick. And see if I still take zero damage. So this boss does infamously low damage. The reason for that, as Jean figured out, is he attacks with ranged and does not have dexterity trained. But when I have Fruitcake Brick, it does exactly zero damage. I think I actually know the bug that is causing this. Ah, oh, okay. So, Fruitcake Brick kind of cheeses the whole boss. Is what it is. No big deal. We'll just go without a Water Misk for now. Um, and instead... Instead, you might notice a change in my voice. I went and took a break. But instead, we're just going to take it uh, we're gonna tank it and see what happens. So I thought the fight might go long, so I brought Nerf Kitten, but we're really kind of cooking him. It's only been 11 turns. I also didn't read the battle log. Is that water? Energy. Ignore that bug message. But an energy attack. I'm gonna go nickel clad pet as well. And of course, we'll go Thunderlord's Crest and Truffle Fur. Okay, we cut for a second, but nothing serious happened. Just had to cut the recording for a moment. No big deal. Back to Nerf Kitten. Yeah, this fight really hasn't gone long. He's not proved much of a challenge, admittedly. Halfway because... There was a bug that made him do zero damage, but... Oh! Well, you know what? You get what you wish for. Fight went too short, his energy attack went off, and he went back to full HP. Let's see if this happens twice, I'm really curious. Sorry, I'm eating a snack. I'm really curious if the health reset will continue to occur throughout the fight. Um... And if he'll actually go back to full HP every time he does his energy attack and reset the player to full HP. Now, not to be a hater, but personally, I don't think that's good boss design. <laughs> um, enabling a full-on stalemate. I mean, you're supposed to interrupt the uh, SP attacks, so I can't really complain about, um, you know, not interrupting them. But... All right, here it comes. Let's do one click of the watery cursed benthos ward instead of two. I don't want to do two in case it bugs it out and makes it do zero damage again. So I'll just do one. I might get hit for like 3k here, we'll see. Or I might get hit for zero, who knows? Oh, okay, I got hit for 3k. So good thing I got hit, or 2k. Good thing I used the um, the shield. So now I'm going to restore a little bit with Nickel Clad, now that I'm in a little bit of a danger zone. Again, not really, like I'm totally safe, but... Also, I don't know if the MRM is as low as possible. It might be. I don't know if I need Nerf Kitten still. You know what, I think 
87 is good enough for me. I'm going to bring out Mosquito because that was one of the uh, synergies I wanted to show with this armor. Now normally, um, oh, we use Gargonaut Helm too, why not? Um, so Mosquito is still, it doesn't buff the Mosquito except that it does a little more damage. Um, like for example, it doesn't make the Mosquito divide by the, ener the wind resistance but then deal energy damage, it still divides by the right resistance. Um, but, but it, you know, it's just more damage on the Mosquito and particularly if you are fighting a dark undead monster. So is he going to go back to full HP? Oh, he bleeds. Dude, I had no idea he bleeds, but we can use Zervana's Pity for the first time. Cleanse the bleed, dude. That's awesome. I'll say that was planned. I'll lie and say that was planned. But anyways, if you are fighting a dark undead monster, I believe, there might be like one other... Um, uh, okay, so you only turned it back to 2k, thank goodness. So it's not limitless boss design. That's good. Um, but if you do fight a dark element, base element, undead monster, then in that case, I believe there might be one more condition, but you get Ellie Comp on your pet and guest attacks if they're dealing light damage. Yes, they have to deal light damage and they have to be a dark monster. Um, and then you get Ellie Comp, which is sick on your pet and guest. Now it's super niche and you're in an FO armor, so like 99% of the time it's not going to be worth it. But it's a very cool mechanic. Um, but yeah, there's a, kill, a chill, rambling while I play uh, Daimyo Rider video on Kara the Chrono Croaker. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll see you all later. Spread some peace and love. Have a great day and enjoy yourself. Bye bye.